Grace Miley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Monday, October 7th. Okay, so we had the moon in Sagittarius here all day, which is definitely going to put a little bit of pep back in our step, really help us to see the positives instead of all the negatives and really push us to kind of conjure up a new vision and dream based off of the new information, the new details that have been illuminated to us as of late. Now, again, the Sag energy, we want to experiment. We want to explore. We want to kind of, again, push the boundaries of our comfort zone to see what could be different for us. What could be better for us if we were to just get out of our own damn way? Now, there are nine different aspects taking place here today. Six of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in Sag energy going to make a little bit of an awkward interaction with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, who happens to be in cancer energy. So this is definitely going to, again, kind of push us to see where it is that we have a certain determination, a certain motivation, if you will, to kind of continue to do certain things the same, especially in our home, especially in our ability to kind of protect protect ourselves, defend ourselves if need be. But we are also still starting to realize where it is that there's a new pull, if you will, in a new direction, where it is that new excitement, new inspiration is taking over and taking hold. And where it is now that we're feeling the ants in our pants kind of build up where we want to take action and make moves. Again, Mars wants to do all of those things. But in Cancer Energy, we're walking sideways like the crab. There is not a straightforward approach to our wants, needs and desires. We're kind of circling around it, if you will, because the cancer energy very attached to keeping things the same, keeping things the way that they've always been. We are kind of struggling with this particular interaction because, again, the moon in Sag is so futuristically focused that Mars is having a hard time kind of lending the energy, if you will, on what it is that we want to do and pursue in our futuristic realm when we're so concerned on protecting and preserving what it is that we've already built, already created. The moon in Sag then going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension in conflict with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, who, of course, is in this Libra energy. So a semi-square doesn't really feel good. A lot of this is because the moon in Sag, again, projecting ourselves so far into our futuristic vision and dream. Mercury, on the other hand, in this Libra and energy, trying to weigh the pros and cons of this new dream, this new goal, this new ambition that we want to actually manifest. We are reaching no decisions with Mercury in Libra. We are trying to kind of see all sides, all angles, both sides of the coin, so to speak. We're trying to explore all variables. But just when we talk ourselves into something immediately we start talking ourselves out of it now the moon being our emotions and mercury being our headspace they're not on the same page at all therefore we're not communicating effectively we are not articulating ourselves as clear as we would need so communications can definitely continue to suffer especially seeing as we had mercury and mars really square each other here yesterday, really agitating that headspace, really making a lot of conversations very difficult to have. A lot of disagreements pop off because, again, we are not speaking as clearly as we need to be. The moon in Sag then going to make an awkward interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer who was retrograde in Aries energy. This is a little bit of an interesting situation because, again, the moon in Sag thinking futuristically, thinking about what it is that we want, need and desire, what it is that we have to do in order to get it. The problem is, is that currently we are not the version of self that is going to be living that futuristic goal, dream and vision. What we're doing right now is addressing the problematic areas, the wound the pain, the trauma that are still alive and well. This is where Chiron's retrograde in Aries is coming in. We are addressing the problematic areas still alive and well, especially where the old version of self is concerned. We are kind of focused at this particular juncture with all that we need to fix within ourselves before we actually believe that we are able to achieve the goals, the visions, the dreams that emotionally we're already kind of projecting ourselves into. The moon is then going to try beautiful interaction with that north node in Aries energy. This is fire on fire energy and we love fire on fire because first of all it helps to burn away the funk. It helps to burn away the heaviness in our head space in our heart space. It helps us to burn through the cords the attachments that we currently have 
to the past and it helps to regenerate a spark, a fire, a flame of passion, of excitement, of inspiration for us to want to move on, to want to grow, to want to heal, to want to actually move forward. Emotionally speaking, we are definitely thinking about the future. And at this particular juncture, this trine is encouraging that in order for us to gain perspective on what in our current circumstances we need to let go of, we need to remove, we need to kind of eliminate before we can actually gain momentum in this new path, in this new direction. We have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in the Scorpio energy, again, doing the shadow work of our heart space, really recognizing where the major pivot point in our happiness, our joy, our worth, our values are concerned. Venus is going to be making a positive interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who was retrograde in Capricorn energy. Again, reminder here, Pluto actually rules over the Scorpio energy that Venus is in. And because Pluto kind of intensifies everything that we're thinking, everything that we're feeling, we are going to be kind of revealed or exposed to new wants, needs, desires that our heart, our soul space is asking us to do, asking us to pursue. This puts us in a very powerful position in our heart space. We're gaining power and control over our emotions. We are understanding what we have to eliminate, what we have to remove, what we have to close the door upon in order for us to build and create something new. Again, Pluto's retrograde and Capricorn energy is the final hurrah of us taking a good look at the foundations and structures that the old version of self has built in our physical realms that this new version of self needs to eliminate, needs to remove to clear the path clear the way for us to be building towards new goals, new visions, new dreams. So this is definitely going to be an aha moment, a revelation of the heart space, a revelation of new passions and desires, especially where people are concerned, because again, Venus, all about those relationship dynamics, we're definitely going to, I'm going to say, be revealed to some hidden details, some hidden information, definitely going to help us put into perspective and put us in a new placement of power where our emotions are concerned. We have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in this Libra energy, making a positive interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who is retrograde in Pisces energy. What I love about this is that Mr. Saturn is coming in to help us organize our thoughts. And again, with Mercury in this Libra energy, we're trying to see all angles, all sides of the coin. We're trying to really challenge our beliefs, what it is that we know. We want to arrive at a decision point, a choice point, but the indecision of Libra energy is not going to allow us to do that. However, the scales constantly ebbing and flowing, fluctuating back and forth in our headspace. Saturn is coming in. He's allowing us to get a grip on our intuition. We have a knowing within us of what it is that we have to do, what it is that we need to pursue, where it is that we need to go, what it is that we need to grow. We are getting, and this isn't a harsh reality check, however, it's going to provide a lot more of a clarity. And of course, we've been lacking in clarity for a very long time. We are going to have a new organization in our thoughts, in our mental plane. We are going to be seeing things a little bit more clearly, especially with what it is that we have to remove and especially with what it is that now we have to build in the place of the things that, again, we are closing the door upon. The moon in Sag energy, then going to make a positive interaction with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, who, of course, is in this cancer energy. This is a much better interaction compared to the way that we started the day with. And this is us thinking about the future. Again, the moon and Sag. We are, you know, wanting to explore different avenues, wanting to experiment with different options and opportunities. We're really in our inner realm trying to think about if we could snap our fingers and open our eyes and already be in the situation and circumstance that we are eagerly wanting to take action upon and actually manifest, what would that look like? And so Mars over here, although he's in cancer energy and very connected to the past, 
past and almost in preservation mode, there is a little bit of excitement. There is a little bit of passion. There is a little bit of inspiration that we are starting to see come out of Mars, really put us in a different mood, a different attitude to do whatever has to be done in order for us to remove the blockages and the challenges that we're currently facing so that we can clear the space and clear the way for us to actually take action and make moves to start building the foundation needed in order to house the long-term goals, visions, and dreams that the moon and Sag is now kind of having us contemplate. Just when we start feeling good, just when we start feeling hopeful, just when we start kind of actually believing that this new goal, vision, and dream is actually attainable and achievable, of course, we're going to have the wind knocked out of our sails. The moon in Sag going to get into the boxing ring square off with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who is retrograde in this Pisces energy. This is like we dream too big of a dream. We were too unrealistic with the actual end goal that we want to find ourselves in. It's almost as if we focused solely on, you know, what could be, and we forgot all about what actually is. Saturn's here to remind us that we have no business projecting ourselves that far into the future, especially in this happy, fluffy vibe where everything is good and nothing is wrong because we have a mess to clean up here now, Saturn being retrograde and Pisces energy is having us deal with life as it is, not the way that we wished it would be. He's wrapping up a 30 year karmic cycle. He is really pushing us to move inward to see where it is that we need to have a lot more willpower and discipline to deal with the ugly parts of life in order for us to actually be freed up to build the good parts in life that again, the moon in Sag has us 100% immersed in. And so does it feel good to have the wind knocked out of our sails? Absolutely not. Does it feel good to have a little bit of a harsh reality check? Absolutely not. But if we actually want to achieve the goal, the vision, the dream that we're so excited to do and pursue, we have to clean up the mess of the past. We have to clear the space, clean the slate in our present moment. And we have to be realistic of what needs to be built in our lives, again, willpower, discipline, actual physical structures that are going to be strong enough to support the new version of self and that new version of self's wants, needs, and desires. The last thing that we have going on here today is Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in this Libra energy, making a very positive interaction with Uranus, the great awakener who is retrograde in Taurus energy. So Mercury rules over the lower level intellect. Uranus rules over the higher level intellect. We have an epiphany. We have a download. We have clarity that is going to change the game. We are starting to see where it is, because again, Uranus retrograde and Taurus energy, where it is that we're holding on to the old foundation, the old system, the old structures, the old people, places and things that the old version of salt has built that again, we've outgrown that are really serving us no purpose at this particular point. But we are just holding on for dear life, waiting for something new to knock on our door before we're willing to let go of the things that we work so hard to build and create. Mercury, on the other hand, again, trying to weigh the pros and cons of every situation, every circumstance, every possibility, every probability, but coming to no certain terms of agreement, no certain choice point, no certain decision. What I love about this is that we are going to have an epiphany, a download, an aha moment that again, going to change the game, going to help us lean into one path, one choice point, one decision, one direction over the other, and likely give us a brand new perspective of why we feel better, why we feel more safe, why we feel more secure to let go of the things that we have a death grip on in the past, even though they're no longer serving us, because we truly believe at this particular juncture, we understand that we have to let go of the past in order to create the space for the new aspects in life to actually be created in. And so again, there is a lot popping off in our headspace. We're starting to see things from a different set of eyes, new perspectives, new narratives, new dialogues are coming online that are going to help us move away from the old and move closer to the new. <music>